Alba. <laughs> 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 Are you guys talking about money transfer to buy provisions? Yes. yes. But don't you know about Baluo? 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 What is Baluo? Baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop. And you don't have to worry about exchange rates. Tell me how Baluo works. It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria or Mali. Baluo, better than sending money. For the first time in the history of the Gambia, Gambia Printing Publishing Corporation proudly introduces the Biliomatic Exercise Book Printing Machine. The machine has the capacity to print more than 20,000 books per hour. Yes, 20,000 books per hour. It also prints magazines, newspapers, calendars, flyers, normal books and all kinds of printed documents plus items at affordable prices. With the Biliomatic Printing Machine, GPPC can now render high-quality and non-size restricted printing service supply across the sub-region. Rush now and partner with GPPC for all your public and private printing service needs. Print with us today and you'd be offered highly professional, reliable and efficient service delivery by our team of experts. The Gambia Printing and Publishing Corporation is here to meet all demands and is reliable at all times. For more info, contact us on 437-4493 or 437-4402. GPPC is Gambian and it's yours. Gambia Social Registry Household Data Collection Exercise. The government of the Gambia, with support from World Bank, 
is developing a social registry as part of its move towards an integrated social protection system in the country. Gambia Social Registry will serve as a single entry point for the various social protection programs in the Gambia and will be hosted by the National Social Protection Secretariat at the Office of the Vice President. The Social Registry shall comprise households demographic and socio-economic data. This information will guide future social protection program interventions in the Gambia and facilitate rapid identification of beneficiaries for programs. It will have the capability to be linked to other databases when these databases become automated. The enumeration teams from Gambia Bureau of Statistics, GBOS, will visit, interview and register every household in your community. So don't be left out. However, inclusion in the registry does not automatically qualify one for a particular social program. Social Registry has taken consideration of the key principles for personal data protection. Therefore, your data shall be confidential and protected. In view of this, we call on all and sundry to register their households with enumerators from GBOS. This message is brought to you by the Department of Information Services under the Ministry of Information. on Kerfatu Life. I'm Lavin Cham and welcome to our weekly look at uh, current affairs here on Kerfatu Life. This week we will bring you yet another expose by investigative uh, news platform Malagan and we will also have the thoughts and perspectives on current domestic and international affairs from the uh, from Mustafa uh, Dabo from Malagan, as well as the, a brand new guest in our studio, Kejao Ture. Kejao is both a security and legal consultant, so we will uh, have the perspectives from these two gentlemen on domestic and international affairs. And the domestic front force, though, Malagan has uh, reported that there have allegations have surfaced uh, involving a cabinet minister who was alleged to have. Uh, actually given contracts um, to a company that he has a share. Well, Mulligan uh, is in the studio here to tell us more about that. Kejo is a former security and legal expert. He will take us through to some of the major cases, uh, major domestic stories, as well as the unending coup d'etats happening in our sub-region and now even beyond. Gentlemen, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you. Mustafa, um, last week or two weeks ago, I guess, we were here when you gave us an expose you did on a pedophile, so to speak, um, um, who was actually molesting children, sexually harassing them. Mm -hmm. This time you came with what looks like a corruption allegation against a cabinet minister. That sounds serious. How did the story go? Uh, so the story was done by a colleague of mine called Mariam, Mariam mm -hmm. Sakano. Okay. Um, 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 over the last few weeks um, in relation to a contract that was awarded to um, the Indian Institute of Hardware Technology. Which, Indian which Institute is, of Hardware Technology. Yeah, you remember it was launched that, that here some time back by... That, that in fact sounds Indian. How is it Gambian then? Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't know why they chose that name. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but anyway, I mean... Mm -hmm. It was launched here. It was a popular event. I mean, the vice president at the time was there. You mm -hmm. seen was there. Okay. Uh, it was a popular event then. Yeah, it was a popular event, um, mm -hmm. and they issued um, a very detailed press release on their launch, which you could find on Gainako. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Mariam did a story which focused on how uh, the Ministry of um, uh, Ministry of Communication actually gave an IT training uh, a contract to 
uh, he, a school he owns 90 percent the minister owns 90 percent mm. and so she so followed L <clears throat> the procurement process how it was awarded and the quant the amount paid which is about 765 i suppose the fifteen thousand is for refreshment because the payment that is on the proposal is 750 so mm. but they eventually pay 765 which would suggest that the fifteen thousand uh, is um, uh, fifteen thousand is for refreshment, and so C followed that story and engaged the ministry and the PMO mm -hmm. to sort of bring all the information to bear. I, I saw um, you communicate. Take us through there when when she approached because this is a problem that journalists face. When she approached the minister or the ministry, I saw mm -hmm. the trail of communications. Yes, um, the re response was structured in such a way that they it, it looks like. Uh, it was addressed as, you know, an official uh, response and not personal. Uh, and, and the allegation was personal to him. How yes, it was personal to him. It should, yeah. have, it should not have gone through that channel. But, you know, things are done here in such a way that the, the, the line between personal conduct and official ones are is blurred. You know, it's... You, you know, don't see so, the difference. So even when you approach someone for a personal allegation, they can say, uh, we are not. I face that myself during yeah. my work. So you approach someone to talk to you about a supposed corruption allegation, and the person would say, the "Person would say, uh, we are not allowed to." Exactly. I'm not allowed I'll to talk stop. to the right media. Often the I secretary. tell you, I tell you, well, this is not you being allowed or not allowed to talk to the media. The issue here is that yourself. You know, there is a corruption allegation against you, not mm -hmm. against your institution. Exactly. So. This has nothing to do with you being allowed or not allowed to talk as a public servant. Mm. So those are all kind of issues. I mean, but eventually she, she, he responded to her. So what is the um, allegation? This comp how do you know that this company belongs to him? Oh, he had shares there and he denied that, isn't it? He said he loved the place. Or yeah. Everybody knows he owns the company. What happened is um, Indian had in, uh, Institute of India Hardware Technology uh, uh, operates as a franchise. So okay. It's an Indian company. It's, yeah, it's there's a franchise, an outlet. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, everybody knows. That's how he got the ministerial position because he's not that technical. Oh, okay. Oh, you mean you mean he had the reputation of IT, uh, from, IT that exactly. from working yeah. in that company? Exactly. So ah, okay. everybody knows he's like uh, he's, he's a business, uh, he's a salesman in IT, mm -hmm. but not a technical guy. Okay. So, but because you know he's so, a so to, to be fair with him, Mustafa, he's a salesman in IT. I didn't know that. Yeah, I mean, uh, okay. Uh, all right. Uh, to be fair with him, um, um, I mean, uh, he said in his reply. Can we get to his reply now? Can we go? Uh, go yeah. Again? I mean, he says uh, which which particular one? Way? Because he says when I joined the government, the yes. school appointed a new management, including a board. Okay. Which I am no longer part of. When he joined the government, the CEO responsible as well as new center manager responsible for the management of the school. Yeah. So even when he joined government, mm -hmm. according to him, he ceased being a member or having anything to do that with that company. Yes, according to him. Yes. Huh? According to him. So, but, so you, but you see, um, this is what uh, I could read also, um, uh, because you know, Mariam also analyzed a lot of facts okay, okay. that uh, leads to some conclusions that uh, she had also made independently of the minister's response. And the story says that it's not clear whether he has resigned effectively mm -hmm. from his position as CEO functions. Mm. But he says our sources said he is actively running the institute, even though a woman claimed to be his sister, our bar currently serves as acting CEO. Okay, so according to so him, the person when there, he according to yeah. the, the narrative, this, the investigator, the person there yeah. is an acting is in acting, acting capacity. capacity. So yes. you mean allegedly he is still running behind the scenes when he said he had left officially when he became minister. I think that's the essence. That's so at what time right. was this contract awarded? Most very recently. I think about a month ago. So very so recently. so so the the, the the what the story is trying to now indicate that um, as far as the investigation is concerned. Yeah. He, he probably still have ties with the company. Yes, so the proposal was made on April 23rd, uh, April 15th, no, May 15th, 2023, 
and the letter was written to the ministries to nominate their staff for the training on April 23rd, 2023. Do we know what actual training it was? And well, they said, you know, this was, uh, you know, um, relating to cyber security um, issues. Um, uh, so what but he still I holds share, ho shares in that company. He holds 90 percent shares. So is it you have not seen. You haven't seen. You haven't seen. How do you? How do you? How are you convinced that he owns ninety percent? Because the company records is still, says yeah, still yeah. up to now. Yeah. Yes. He's, he's like, he owns ninety percent. So whether he's so he could or still not, whether he's irrelevant. CEO or not, it, the record shows it's, that he's it's irrelevant. Yeah. It's irrelevant. The, the record record show that he is still ninety percent yeah. also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The record shows that. I mean, the story details that, um, and uh, you know, of course. But, but did, did he specifically re respond to the fact that he's still, the, he, did he deny the fact that he's still the biggest shareholder? Or that no, was he didn't address those issues. I mean, the letter, uh, you know, you know, um, uh, as to whether he used his position mm -hmm. to get the school contract, the contract by government, he said, no, it's not true. He said he didn't use his position. But of course, that's what you expect everyone to say. But did he declare? Uh, no, no. I mean, that's the issue also. Because, for example... Uh, I think in some of his response, he said he actually didn't deal with those kind of award contracts, the permanent secretary who does that. Yeah. Is, is that what he said? Well, look, we both know ministries have contract committees. Yes. Mm -hmm. But trust me, um, I mean, you cannot have that kind of... Uh, um, contract with a college mm -hmm. um, without key members of the ministry knew um, and that should include the minister mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. um, of course the permanent secretary is the one in charge of the ministry in terms of procurement mm -hmm. uh, is the also the vote controller if I get it right yeah but the chief but, spend but yes but the ministry the minister Oh, and the, is yeah. the one is the overall boss of that institution, and the permanent secretary, even though he claims he did not know he, the who owns the, he, he didn't know who who owns the company, who owns the institution. Okay, and he also claims that uh, there were also trainings, other trainings that they've given to the school, but he provides no evidence as for such. I see. Uh, that an earlier trainings were given. So it's not school, only but in the Institute of India. He said that has been given such contracts. Yes. You but know. he has he hasn't showed you any evidence of any yeah, other company India, benefiting no. from that. No, no. He but, but how was the contract awarded? Was it was it uh, was it was it an unsolicited it? proposal according okay. to according yeah, according to the story. Um and you know, it was an unsolicited proposal. Yeah. Um, unsolicited proposal mean, means the that company didn't the, even the, ask. No, yes. it means that the college uh -huh. the college wrote to the ministry. Exactly. And so we can provide, send a proposal to yeah. say we can provide X, Y, and Z, ah. and the ministry approves it. But the interesting thing is the company suggested to do the training for ten days, mm -hmm. and suggested a price for seven hundred and fifty. Mm -hmm. But what the, the investigator found out, mm -hmm. what Mariam eventually found out, was that the ministry reduced that uh, ninety days mm -hmm. to ten days, and they still pay the same amount. Yeah. So Ooh. they said, well, this is government standard, uh, is government well, so you mean, So, so, you mean so, the company so not, uh, let's go back. Yeah. The company made a proposal to the ministry that I can provide training for you yes. for, 90 days. for 90 days yes. at so and so price. Yes. And the, co and the ministry approved it. Yes. And, and gave them the contract. Days, yeah. Yes. But the, the job was reduced to 10 days. Yes, and you but can't the, do those kind the price of training. Offered, in 10 days. The price offered <laughs> was was I mean the price so, so proposed by the company is what is what remains. Yeah. Yes, it what remains, but also if you so look could at, it be <laughs> could it be that's that, why could it be that the job was done actually in ten days. What was meant to be done in ninety days actually exactly. was. Or yeah, maybe yeah. it was just meant to for money to exchange hands without any value at all. Absolutely. Because I, what, but what, it could, what it also it could also be that hard work was done within ten days. No, you can't do that. I mean, I mean IT cyber security. He has security. IT experience. Yeah, experience. Maybe you should yeah. tell us that. Yeah, <laughs> IT cyber security you will you have to take about three months. Mm. Like, even three months is too small. Uh, you know yeah. it's it is it is it is impossible because it has to cover board hardware, networking, <laughs> you know, programming and all that thing. So okay. so the, the, the when the school offered the uh, proposal mm -hmm. they were they were they were right to say 90 days mm -hmm. so reducing it to 
to 10 days, days. is, 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 ah, is, is well, careless negligent and, I, I thought I thought perhaps the, mo- the work was done uh, efficiently within 10 days what was meant for 90 days was achieved actually in 10 days it's that could also be the case yeah so so you would see that even on the proposal mm. they wrote 90 days is written but they didn't you know you cannot write rewrite the unsolicited proposal that comes to the ministry mm. so someone made an effort to write 10 days on the proposal with a pen oh <laughs> on top of 90. Oh, 90. Oh, you, you see wow, what i mean wow, wow. and this is what we are scared and about so all those all not those only this thing we're scared that the minister will award a lot of this digitalization to india there was this worry in the oh, IT. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, when he was appointed, there was a concern. There was a concern that, that know, his connection is, with, yeah, India. with India mm. is going to bring in. And he, I think he tells people. Well, he said he has made tremendous achievement in terms of, you know, the, the digitalizing our economy, our, our, our state functions, and uh, this online, online uh, purchasing and buying activities online. He said Gambe is going to be very proud of, uh, of, of such platforms. No, but there's the no future. platform yet. The only thing he, he mentioned was that he had these postcodes that the people yes, postcodes, don't. yes. And those things are there even, even without the thing. And the the KMC was doing it well before he, before he became minister. So 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 what was his final response to this now? When you when 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 you no, he uh, hasn't let's said start, so let's, far anything. Yeah, let's let's hear his full response. Just for the viewers to know what he had No, said. well, I mean that is all he has said. I that, mean that he had left the company. Yeah, so this one was a response he just sent on the day we were to publish the story. How did that go? Uh so this was just the letter which is is even published in the story. Yeah. Um so the the reporter Mariam asked um if he has there were allegations that he had used his position to uh, get the contract, contract to his school he said no he didn't no no that's not true it's not true oh it's not true yeah mm-hmm. that's his response okay and you know records seen that we have seen indicate the proposal for the time ty- training came from your school according to ps lavin camera he was not aware uh, you own the school would it not be the standard procedure in this case to do a conflict of interest declaration and, what did he, say? and he said no when i joined the government i left the company i left the company but we were not asking that yeah, yeah, asking yeah the question says. was we whether, were asking yeah. yeah whether it would not be a standard procedure to do conflict of interest yeah. declaration. declaration to say i own this school. company mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I own, I the, own school. the school. Yeah, and uh, so that the person awarding them the contract knows well, that. Knows that. So, so yeah. even PMO, when uh, Mariam was doing the story, Mariam had gone back and forth to PMO, in respect to whether uh, uh, to rationalize these yeah, trainings, exactly. because of course, if you are doing a story like this, you must be thinking exactly. about trainings thinking allowed. Outcome. Like, yeah. what sort of training? What sort of training? Not and only, how yeah. comes yeah. you? Okay, you, PMO has a standard tariff. They say. Mm-hmm. So they pay a training if you hire a college or MDI or any institution or any individual. They pay the institution um, $30,000 mm. a day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? $30,000 for the pre- period of the training. For Let's person. Say, yeah. For a person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. $30,000 for the period of the training. Mm-hmm. So for self, for example, to if you hire if they yeah. hire you for one week or two weeks or three weeks or four weeks, mm-hmm. the, and you do the training, the each person government will pay thirty thousand for the person mm-hmm. or thirty five thousand for the person, right. mm-hmm. and the trainees who go to attend that training will have an allowance also. Mm-hmm. If they are junior officers, they will be paid an allowance for uh, thirty five thousand, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So it means for every training, government incurs two costs. Mm-hmm. One, they pay the institution, and two, the allowance they pay to people who go, who we are capacitizing. Yeah. Mm. You see the, you see the idea. Like if you do not go at attend training at MDI, for example, you will be at work. Mm-hmm. So we, government, and anyway, you get your transportation allowance as part of your salary. Yeah. Government now is paying for you to go get trained. Okay. They're still giving you thirty-five thousand for that training kind of as an allowance kind of, and what mm. they do is yeah. some of these people they take the training outside the country yes they pay them per diems yes mm. and it's, also it's, if it is even country, outside of the country it's even more expensive, expensive yeah. so the story is not only exposing what might appear to be a conflict of interest on the no side of the no, no, no but no. even the, the modalities policy. it's also policy looking itself. at the training policy mm. yeah. in general yeah. i see uh, 
in the you know in the in the in the in the government this country mm. everything and is reforms yeah so you know, it, is, it it doesn't yeah. look very uh, maybe it would look it would need probably a more detailed investigation into the broader training, yeah, exactly so that's what i would area. say mm -hmm. so but, I, but, I, for our analysis now for your analysis as the medium who carried it uh, what do you think next should be the minister's move i mean do you think his response is, is he has sufficiently addressed the questions raised there? Because we, I know a former minister, I mean, over the last three months, there have been allegations in, in audit, queried, yeah. queried by yeah. auditors that he might have interest in a company that's registered in his son's, is in his son's name or in C, or, uh, Abba, yeah, 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 son's yes, name. Yeah. Yeah. How is, that how is exactly, and he was how sacked, is, exactly. Well, they didn't say why he was sacked, they no, just said... he was sacked, so this man should also they be sacked. They said, they said well, at the time, he accepted to resign for something that was not compatible with his office. Yeah. Well, so don't say he was sacked. He accepted to go. Yeah, when so in reality, it looks that was like he was forced though. to be re to forced to, to resign. Yeah, that, but and that this, was not this explained. guy. This but then later we saw in the audit queries yeah, that uh, uh, he probably might have a conflict of interest and stuff like that. How is it similar to this? Look, the the other sit situation is a bit different. Mm -hmm. um, different in the sense that. Abba, uh, which, which by the way was done by Kewa, Kewa Jefa, mm -hmm. uh, was done in a way that Abba registered a company mm -hmm. and it's a sole proprietorship. He owns it alone. Completely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a business. It's, it's not a, a business. company. Yeah. Um, and when he became governor, mm. he now put remove his name and put his son's name as the owner as the owner ah. so it's like i own the company so this one i own a business i own a business <laughs> but this one seemed to have left no this one did not remove his name, his name. no i'm talking he's, about he's, he's still, still the 90 percent owner or, or you mean the case of Usman? Abba, yeah. Yes, but Abba's own is also the same. Okay, let's say, but no, it's just that. Abba, Abba, no, let's let's go ahead. No, you are talking about does. how I mean, we both know how these things you work. You are talking about your no, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, they no, are dependent. You, you are telling us how, <laughs> how different it was. To so this, what, what was yes. the difference? So the difference is just the name. This ah. one puts his dependence <laughs> name. <laughs> when this he other one. When he became governor, he changed his name from ownership and put his son. Yeah. Yes. So, so the business went on to have business from the governor's office. Yes. So you guys broke that story as well. Yeah, uh, we, we that, did the story, story too. It was, it, was, it, was it was an audit, audit but then we it followed audit it. Report. Yeah, yeah, we followed it and we went to company records to find out because he was claiming that uh, his business, uh, he, he changed the name, he, he, re he removed his name when even he became before, governor. Yes, even oh, before yeah. he became, became a governor. governor. Or minister yeah. Will go. yeah. No, but this is son, so it's complete. But this yeah. one seems more serious. So, so yeah, but, but, sure but in this case, in the involved. case of Ba, allegedly he still remains the shareholder. Yeah. yeah still and the name still remains unchanged. Yeah. yeah. Only that he said he left to be CEO. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, when he became minister. Yes. Which is insignificant. I see. Yeah. I see. I mean, because that doesn't change the fact. That doesn't that change the fact. That, that doesn't change. He's ninety percent uh, yeah. owner. Yeah. And he travels so like. So like, eventually, like crazy, eventually, <laughs> eventually, whatever money, whatever money goes to that business, it goes to the, those people whose whole say has their example himself. Yeah. yeah. So it's training basically I think what <clears throat> the story seems to portray it's how trainings generally are being rationalized in the Gambia. I mean generally you have advocates who say this is not a poor country. It's no. a mismanaged economy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So seems in a mismanaged economy you the priorities are not right and even where priorities are wrong waste Waste, mm -hmm. complete waste. If, is the if, 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 even if the yeah. priorities are right, you want to say? Yeah, even yeah. where priorities <laughs> are not right, <laughs> not 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 right, uh, are I not right. Even, okay, where, 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 so where, it's where, a double jeopardy. Even where that. priorities are not right, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. it waste also piles up. So <laughs> you know, say for example, um, I, I rationalize this. We hire a people as public officers, public as the people. Mm -hmm. And you 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 are sending this person to a training mm -hmm. to capacitize him so that he is able to do the job for which he is paid. Mm -hmm. He's not doing the people a favor. The people are doing him a favor. Oh, yeah. 
They are training him so that he has enough capacity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they are now going to give him as transport allowance 35,000, which is more than his salary. Yeah. How ridiculous is that? Yeah. Yeah. And they are saying you are motivating them. Motivating you to do what? Mm -hmm. This is what your job is. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right? Mm -hmm. You are supposed to, you know, so every opportunity, because it's not anybody's money, mm -hmm. they just, they just they, take government money they as no one. So you can just do anything with it. <laughs> and when you ask them, you know, like PS Camera was saying in one of the WhatsApp platforms, mm. this is the standard PMO. Ridiculous. Yeah. What do you mean is a standard PMO uh, uh, nonsense? Yeah. Mm. If it is wrong, it is just wrong. Yeah. Why would you do something because it's a standard silly PMO thing? Mm. It doesn't make sense. Well, that's the problem with because this country, PMO does like something or PMO approves something. Mm. And they are saying, you know, they are saying, uh, you know, here procurement, it does not go through. GPPA, that's what PMO says. But if you look at the GPPA Act, how can you? G, P, GPPA Act doesn't say that. Mm. G, PMO is not. A, is I think not PMO a, has an exemption. Uh, there's an exemption. For no, PMO. no, no. PMO is not an act of parliament. It's an institution that's governed yeah. by laws. Yeah, PMO yeah. doesn't do the so, procurement. Exactly. Using so exactly. So if you million. look at, if you it's look at, the the now let, yeah. let me read you this act. Mm. Now, if you check Section Twenty One, mm. in terms of applications yeah. areas where the GPPA, GPPA act applies yeah. so the application so it says section 21 2 mm. says this act shall not apply to mm -hmm. and if you go to H I mm. think it must have been H mm. to education services other than training services so training should have been approved by GPPA Mm. It does not apply it to education services, mm -hmm. but it applies to training services. Yeah. Uh, so so it's how can you tell services other than other training, than training, training. services? Ah, yeah. I see. Okay, okay, okay. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Now, so this you cannot do if you are doing a procurement, whether it's single sourcing, what kind of. If you are doing a procurement mm -hmm. of this kind of training mm -hmm. to any institution mm -hmm. beyond GPPA, trustors should have gone to GPPA. Yeah. So if people bring that to your attention and you say. So someone who has been PS for several days, you are, no. As, no, as, as, a, as logic excuses you, mm -hmm. you are saying, oh, well, PMO doesn't allow, what, 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 so what? Yeah. But the law says this, it's what do you mean out. by PMO? Okay. So those Quite are the kind of frustrations you tend to have sometimes. Absolutely. So you guys yeah. are going to uh, pursue the, so, the training uh, the, the policy and the training. Yeah. Well, I hope, I hope Mariam does. Um, um, she's done a phenomenal job in this mm -hmm. um yeah i i yeah i hope so are you are you working on an, an, another story coming soon <laughs> investigative piece well, yes up? we have some stories lined up that are currently being addressed. what has been the uh outcome pro from the pedophile story you ran did you get any government well nothing so far i mean it, uh, i have had contacts with the minister of children some officials from minister of children who said i will do something about it apparently the minister uh, less than a week ago went on a particular platform um they are launching some donor related data collection center yeah, yeah. and the minister said he was not aware of our story and he didn't see did not read it apparently yes we published they said didn't read it yeah. he didn't read it and someone sent the minister that story that story the yes. link and yeah. the person forwarded that information to me i sent it after it was published she didn't read it. <laughs> so, so uh, so, I mean, but that is not surprise. I mean, it's part of Kinte. I mean, this woman, when we did the uh, Penny Appeal story, she said there was no case. Mm. Really? Yes. yes. Efficient. So, efficient. So, uh, <laughs> uh, Kenya, let I me think, have your thoughts. I think she's the worst minister we've had in our let, history. Let me, let me mm. have your thoughts. Uh, anyway. I, I think now we've, we've, got, we've got that one matter dissolved. An allegation that uh, Minister Usman ba, uh, failed, uh, I mean, uh, to stop what would look like a conflict of interest, the contract, the awarding of a contract to a company that he owned 90% shares, but then he said he had stopped being part of that company when he became minister, so therefore he's innocent. Um, so the allegation is he is still the shareholder of the biggest shareholder of the company, therefore any money that goes to that company goes to him, so to speak, but he denied flatly. Um, this is, uh, I'm, 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 and I want to take your, uh, I mean, perspective on this and other aspects. You are a cyber security and legal affairs expert. Now you are in consultancy. You also have a military police background, being a former gendarmerie uh, <laughs> and stuff like that. Let me begin by asking, what's your perspective on 
the world, what he's talking about, the general awarding of contracts and uh, the GPPAs, um, non-conformity with GPPA rules. GPPA itself came on the flag at the, at the local government commission for, for uh, be giving out in, inconsistent reports about procurement policies in different areas. What's your perspective on this? Um, thank you very much, Mr. Cham. I think it's criminal. Um, um, Malagan is doing a great job. We must, we must be grateful for, for them to, for all these um, revelations that they are. Yeah, but I think these this, this acts, uh, this actions are criminal. You know, the country needs a lot of money and uh, our, 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 our people are suffering. You know, they are, they are living in, in dire poverty. Yet our government you know, it's not it's not political government in this sense. It's everybody. You know, the whole apparatus is is trying to find ways to siphon the money into their pockets in different ways. You know, and I think as as Mustafa said, this is why people say Gambia is not a poor country, but the you know the, the attitude is very poor, and the pe few people get together and get all the money and put it in their pocket. Look at the Padiem issues. You know, none of the political parties is talking about making sure it is aligned with international standards. Oh, you mean our podiums are not aligned? Are it, it's not 250? Yeah, for 300, uh, for 250 people. to 300 pounds. For but there, mm. you know, if you are, if you are from are you UK, sure that's not, uh, people say that's the cheapest you can find in the region, oh? No, but the, the thing is, in, in, in a place like UK where they give, us, who, who give us some money, you know, as grant, uh, there, uh, if you travel, they will not give you podium. What they will they pay give? for the hotel uh, and pay for the hair li airlines. Okay. And then, you know, probably just, you will, you will, the only thing, when you come, come back, you will claim for food that you spend. I see. So, mm -hmm. you know, in this sense, people, we are just getting all, taking all the money and giving it to people mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that they can put it, even MRC. In terms of yeah, International company, organizations here, they don't do that. They pay your, before you reach, they pay, they pay your pay hotel, hotel and everything, yeah. food and everything. And everything. And then the only thing is, you if know. If you spend anything extra, you come and you claim. Come and claim. I and see. that's what we should do. Instead, now these people will collect three hundred, <laughs> go to Europe, <laughs> and 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 come back and say uh, and try to live with with relatives there for free. Yeah. And and still claim that they they, they paid they for paid hotels. Off. So no question asked. It's just a party. Whether, whether you keep it, it or whether you spend, it, it, or whether yeah. you spend it in the hotel, it doesn't matter. I so see. those and no party, even even UDP, mm. is not is not tackling this issue. Mm. So that but, means if they come into power, it's the same. Okay. And this issue that he, he the, the Mulligan's guys uh, revealed, mm. it was the same issue with uh, um, uh, Mr. Sane. Amadou Sane. Amadou Sane, yes. Yeah, when he was finance minister. Finance minister. There were allegations that... Uh, he tried he, to. He, he tried to or he did? He, he tried to. He didn't succeed. Ah, okay. Because I think, um, uh, what's he called again? The international organization, IMF, IMF, stepped in to say, no, you can't do that. You can't do this. You know, so he attempted company. to pay himself of money he company. said owed to his company. Yeah, he many, wanted to give his con con company contract. A contract. Oh, I see. You know, I'm not sure whether, I think it was... Uh, it was a Social Security, was it Social Security or somewhere? Yeah, but that one was, uh, I think it was, it was, it was not an unsolicited proposal. Oh, okay. They that was a contract. It, yeah, yeah so the, con the company won. Yeah. So he said it was fair. I see. You know, so that one is not even as scandalous as this one. Well, it would have been, but he attempted, it was finance minister. It would have been double, it would have been conflict of interest. Yeah, exactly. He should have declared. He yeah, should, have, should declared. have declared. Yeah, but at least it was not unsolicited. Ah. You know, people, other people, I mean, yeah. It's but he same. didn't resign. Though. Yeah. So when, in, when, it became, when it became clear, he didn't resign, did he? No, he didn't resign. Oh, so, he was so, penalized. So maybe Usman, ja, Usman Bazo doesn't have any reason to resign. <laughs> so if there was a president, but that, or you do you even expect anybody to resign no, over no, this matter? I think what you know, corruption. You can't even fight corruption with this kind of method, mm. where one person at a time. At a time, no. You know, because even us, when we do a story, mm. what do you expect? Like for example, if government sees a story like this, mm. what do you expect a sensible person to do is to sit down and rationalize now. Yes. Like okay, this training we've been doing, mm -hmm. what what good has it brought? Mm -hmm. Okay, we have an institution that has been created to do training here. MDI, MDI has been civil specifically service. created for civil service. Civil capacity. service training. They in fact wanted to. If they had interest, mm -hmm. they would have capacitized MDI to do handle service all this. But why didn't they do it? Because these people are looking for any opportunity for procurement. Yeah. Because boosting down like a sort of world. Yeah. These people, be, when you create an efficient government, it's less corrupt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The reason why we don't have an efficient government it is because will, people are corrupt. Will kill corruption. And that's so. it. It will kill corruption. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the reason why. So if you go, they will say, no, they don't, the MDI don't have the capacity to do this training. Capacity so they will. Them. 
Why didn't you capacity? Exactly. This institution <laughs> have been created since 1982. Oh, yeah, long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. So these things, and they go some some you know some stories you hear, mm. even some abroad trainings, you you shocked. Yeah. Yeah. Like you know, and so you know some of these things. I mean, you look at the kind of training I had an interaction with somebody who had attended by the way this training this mm -hmm. particular training maria did a story about mm -hmm. I, I interacted with someone who interacted with someone mm -hmm. like you know two people talking to each other through someone mm -hmm. and the person said that this is the the training was below his standard when he has to attend because he Good needed money. the thirty five thousand. Yeah. i see he needed the allowance yeah. <laughs> i see Right. So, so this is the kind of so. You, so, when a story like this is published, mm -hmm. what you expect a normal, normal government to do is to sit down and say, "Let's rationalize this training. Why are we even paying someone for attending a training? We are paying for him. Yeah. Ah. You, you are working for us. You are getting paid for salary. Mm -hmm. We organize a training for you, mm -hmm. and we are now paying you to attend that training. And you are saying well, well, we are motivating it, him. But, it, but, it, but so many workshop organizers do that. Pay, they pay, they pay. Yeah, attend, but it should stop with public stop. sector. Yeah, yeah. Even if you okay. rationalize, say for example, if you give someone transport fares, mm -hmm. either ways, if, whether you attend that training or not, you are still going to go to work. Yeah. Or you of, get sacked. Of course. And if you are going to go to work, you are getting you are moving. You are going to pay transport. So you mean, you mean there should not be incentive? There right? should no. be zero we money. Used to that here. In fact, people call workshops chop shops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but that is that's also true. the idea because the 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 and that's where Africa's problem has become. The African elites are lazy, bunch of lazy people. Mm. That is why or we greedy do. people. Yes, lazy and greedy. But that is also why we do not invest in thinking. Mm. So, for example, instead of fixing a solution problem, mm. if you Come and tell them do this. They would say, okay, let's write a project proposal to European Union yeah. or IMF. For them, that is how lazy they are. Mm -hmm. That is why Dambisa Moyo said dead aid that donor funding mm -hmm. is making Africa lazy. Absolutely. It's killing African thinking mm -hmm. and ingenuity mm -hmm. because, I mean, it's so, like, I mean, look, <laughs> look around you. Good. I mean, um, we move on. Yeah, please. Um, domestically, the recent, recent, recently there have been issues concerning assets, um, recycling, and, and, and in fact, I think not long ago there was a conclave or whatever that tried to address uh, issues surrounding that, etc., uh, etc. Et but let me have your um, perspective on, on, on that um, before we go to the international political scene. Assets recycling. Uh, when you heard it that the Senegambia Bridge is going to be recycled, what came to your mind first? Um, I think it is, uh, I did not think um, that it was uh, s uh, something wrong. Mm. You know, my perspective was that I think it's an efficient way of handling, you know, uh, public infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Because in this instance, if we leave, I know the ministry did a very good job when, when, the, when, the, um, when the bridge was open. Mm -hmm. Initially, I think they were getting um, about 20,000 a day. Mm -hmm. 20 million, is it? Uh, yeah, well, 20,000 dollars. Yeah, 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 yeah. So eventually, when they, they, they came in there and then they put some CCTVs in place, yeah. you know, things that will stop corruption. Yeah, he said 59 million. Well, that was his latest. Exactly. Yeah. That's what they got from it. Yeah. So they could manage it more efficiently. Right, right now, if the, if, if you're going to go to, to uh, Badibu mm -hmm. and you, um, there's a truck, your truck gets, uh, the truck is broken down on, mm -hmm. on that bridge. Mm -hmm. You know, they wouldn't get any money. Yeah. And then the whole bridge. So we need efficiency mm -hmm. in, in handling this. So most of these public institutions, mm -hmm. I think it's it's not really bad to have a partner mm -hmm. who will work with you and, and get it, um, you know, moving mm -hmm. and get it more efficient, get more money from it. So I think the, the asset is, I, I know some, so many people have different views. People say there were not, not enough consultation uh, was made so that people can understand. Yeah, but who are they going to consult? Well, uh, I mean... For example, this, it's been said that the very first time government knows about it, when international media, you know, reported in Togo where it was supposedly signed or supposedly uh, proposed. Yeah, but then they had they had it. just they had just finished that meeting. Yeah, and they had talked about it. I know they probably should have told people well, initially, was, you know, yes. while they were arranging it. Okay, you know that this is what we want to do. But I mean, who, which 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 ministry does that? Mm. You know, but I mean, are you not worried that uh, they said they, they needed it for they need to do that to raise money 
yeah. instantly 100 million dollars yeah. that they are going to spend on, on other infrastructural projects. Yeah. Are you not worried that with all the <coughs> misgivings that people have in terms of procurement, uh, you know, of these huge contracts, are you not worried now that a hundred million dollars, a hundred million dollars, uh, you know, again, <laughs> you look at how procurements go, how contracts, you know, road constructs, how delayed or you know how how they are are you not worried that a uh, hundred million dollars is gonna go the same way um yeah i'm worried and uh, i think that should that's what should everybody that should you know it should be a concern they didn't know specifically say where are they going to build they just say infrastructure yeah and and i think you know what what we should be looking at with, with, with regards to that is to make sure that the procurement and everything else is transparent and it you know goes by the law you know, but it doesn't mean that they shouldn't take the money because we need the money for infrastructure. Mm. Yeah, I mean, why, why aren't you worried that it's going to set a precedence? Like, uh, uh, I mean, many people said other public properties may follow suit. Like, uh, you know, if we had in cases of Zambia, was it Zambia and somewhere, even the airport, international airport was mortgaged or recycled or whatever. Um, this, so are you not worried that other you know, iconic and public facilities may follow suit, airport, seaport, even the conference uh, center, they said all might end up being uh, either privatized or, 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 or recycled in some way or the other. I mean, if it's going to make the running of the, com the, the institution what more efficient. Be, what would be the use of a government then if you privatize every No, because we've seen that public institutions are failing. Look at Gumtel, look you at Gumsel, look at Nawek. You know, so you, sometimes these things you need to but privatize. But there, there are them. things that that that. A what's the purpose of a government if it cannot take care of an institution? I mean, the government should be as small as possible. Mm. We should all agree that we have. <laughs> we need a very small government. Mm. That the running cost of the government will be very small. The rest of the things they need to give it to people who can run it. If mm. the government is capable of running it mm. efficiently, mm. I think that, you know that's that's a good thing. But if they cannot, mm. and with with our attitude, the attitude of Gambians. Mm. Unless we have fine way to change that, mm. you know, um, I mean, they could have kept the bridge. So you know. if you, with attitude of Gambian you are talking about, yeah. if you give, you privatize, mm -hmm. and you only, like they say, deregulation, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, privatization, mm. if you go deeper into that and give our public corporation, sell them all to private sector, mm -hmm. and Gambia government, public officers retire to their regulatory role mm -hmm. and their you know oversight role mm -hmm. you think they will do that people who have failed to manage institutions will now manage Be able to will now us. regulate them properly no i mean what will happen is most of those people working in those institutions will go to the private sector and they will start working instead of just relaxing and the public sector will do what the public sector will focus on what it does best what it does, what is that? you know things like administration making sure that um, uh, for instance, for, uh, policy, but is there a failure in administration in the first place? Why we privatize public corporations? So, so what, what what do you think we should do about about dumb health? <laughs> the problem instance, is health? the reason why I'm bringing you back on this mm -hmm. is that I disagree with that position. You see, I think the problem in this country, the the kind of uh, the regulation, uh, these Britain Woods boys are peddling all over the place privatize PPP, mm -hmm. asset recycling, all these fancy terms is mm -hmm. stupid. Mm -hmm. The point is we've been here before. Mm -hmm. And this mismanagement of Gambian economy, we've been here before. Mm -hmm. You tell them what they tell you, are, go and read ERP. Go mm -hmm. and read this, go and read that. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, the thing is, we are having, we are having people who are mismanaging public enterprises. Mm -hmm. They are corrupt and they are They've done tons of audits They're that tell yeah. they, They've done tons of audits that show them how inefficient they are, mm -hmm. how corrupt they are. Mm -hmm. People who are corrupt, level of mismanagement that were done, people who did it. All that they need to do is to clean the house and make these institutions efficient. Mm -hmm. How could how could a public if if a public officer is corrupt and is arrested and put on trial? Mm -hmm. And you hire someone to efficiently manage, you give them proper terms of reference. How can you tell me they cannot do business? The public, GNPC is at a pump, is at a pump selling fuel at a pump price. Mm -hmm. They cannot do business. They can, they can. And, and it's fact, been efficiently fact, managed. The point, is, the point is, 
it is not that the state cannot do business. It is that we have a bunch of very corrupt people in charge of state. And those are the people that must be fought. And it inside means, those institutions as well. It's not only... Yeah, at, but at you cannot level. tell me... That is not... That is like... So to say privatize it, mm. that is like you are dealing with... Uh, 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 you are not dealing That's with... Not, what is the purpose you are of dealing government? with a symptom. You are yeah. not dealing with the disease. I, I, I ask no, what is the purpose of government? Is it well? How I mean, can... Socialism, if you're talking about socialism, you know, it means the government has to control everything and yes. then... You know, we've seen how inefficient that goes. No, it's not inefficient. Yeah, in I mean, places. look, look, <laughs> Kenya, let, let's we, not be sure this share. kind of idea. Look, yeah. in China yeah. is probably one of the most advanced developing countries right now. But even in China, advancing, even in China, no, 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 they wait. Have they have a bit more. Yes, mm -hmm. they have both. But there is heavy, heavy involvement of state in the economy. You yeah, know, yeah, but still. And, and state is very efficient. And they make sure whoever is corrupt Pays for it. Yeah. Well, that's the that's what we need so, to do. So, Sometimes it's firing come, squad. They, they did the same thing. <laughs> no, in China. This no one firing squad, but we should lock them down. Yeah. These same people who are selling us this asset recycling BS yeah. and this PPP yeah. nonsense yeah. and yeah. Yeah. the same people <laughs> who wrecked the Gambian economy back in the 70s and in the 80s and put us into the economic recovery program. Economic recovery program was not a policy of the PPP regime. It was after the Gambian economy was wrecked but yeah, the economy yeah. went to The IMF yeah. advised them that you mm -hmm. have to. The IMF the and the World Bank told them, let's you have to uh, go through some structural adjustment. Yeah. yeah. So the, the, the same people come back to tell us to put us into the same privatization scheme and say, you know, uh, uh, the country is indebted, the country's uh, public service corporations are inefficient. So who made those institutions? Yeah. I mean, it's us. It's but, the same, it's but, so the problem is in, in this in this in this in this scenario, what is the other alternative? The other the alternative, alternative is yeah, just said that he takes the people clean. Who are clean. Clean. Yeah. That is the only. Alternative. Yeah, but right now that is a long term. A that long is term. not long term. Yeah. That is immediate term, and it's possible. Okay. Like, look. If you have GMPC, right now GMPC has been audited. 2018 GMPC was audited. Yeah. 2018 NAWEC was audited. Mm -hmm. 2018 Ports was audited. 2018 NAWEC, all these public enterprises were audited. audited yeah. 2018. Yeah. And that audit report, they pick it and put it in the dustbin. Yeah. It was done by Ernst and Young. That all these the special audits audit that were done by National Audit Office, they pick them, it indicts people, they pick it and put it in the dustbin. Mm -hmm. And you are sitting down to tell IMF, help us fix our problem. Why do you think they do that? Why do you think they do that? Because they are corrupt. They are the same. If you are corrupt, I am corrupt. What you, am I going you, you to do? You can obviously no. sanction me. So they go around again, let's sell ports. Let's sell. And the people who are advocating that are the same people who own or are going, the advocates, they are the yeah. same people who own shares in and, those, and, and they, yeah, in those they, companies yeah, who are, yeah, who are, who are not just shares, but shares also they or are maybe partners. They are partners yeah, yeah. Yes, they are local partners of these same public corporations who, will who are come coming and eventually into the country yeah. to come and buy. Yeah, so I by mean, the time, that, that's, but this one is different. If we the, bridge, are, the bridge issue is no, different. No, 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 wait. Yeah, okay, yeah. If, if we get on there, from the bridge, they're going to continue with all If we allow this to pass, by the time in the next two, three, four years, Gambia will be an empty shell with no asset. They would have sold all of it and say, we need a leaner government and a leaner government that would still going to inherit tons of debt yeah. and a leaner government that is Who's still going, going to, to be spend, inefficient spend because lavishly. it's controlled by the same inefficient spend corrupt lavishly yeah. I mean, to... if, if somebody takes a bribe as a manager, what makes you think that person is not going to take a bribe as a regulator? Well, yeah, that's that's, uh, that's 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 true. But the thing is, we have to put things in place and in proper perspective. This bridge, for instance, it's not going to be like a normal private privatization. Mm -hmm. You know, if it is normal privatization, we can all shout. Yes. This one is the the African um, Africa Development Bank. Bank. It's all, it's, we are, we are, we are Africa a partner 50, in there. 50. They were the ones who gave us money for this in the first place. You know, so yeah. So when we take, we need we need money to survive. To, to do build, what? To build roads. Okay, now which roads? From Yamina to to uh, <laughs> to Tendaba, no. the, to now Nyamina the finance our... minister needs to come and tell us yeah. which exactly roads should be which built. Roads. We, we have so many roads. Just Kenya, Kenya, structure. Kenya, building well, a road. No, so, 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 okay, Kenya, yeah. building a road yeah. is not a justification to take a loan. You have to know Where which road. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. You have to know which road. And what kind of economic activity will that road, building of that road, generate to justify the loan? No, some of it is no, saving lives. They, they, they need Not to give us government does to get money. That's that is consultation. That's what they miss. That's a missed opportunity. They didn't tell exactly. And, and for me, I cannot trust this system with anything. 
that's another thing. Yeah. And and especially uh, going into a strange arrangement mm. that is on clear. So what do you no. think is the solution in this one? The whole no, thing. You just told Look, me that. Look, Gambia that, Gambia that has yeah. Gambia has an incredible amount of resources that is in on the Look, do you know that our waters? Yeah. The the the, the, the fish in our waters. Mm-hmm. It is foreigners there. Yeah, I know, that I know. That's a serious thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, well, Everything, that's even the security no, no, of wait, it. That's one thing. Yeah. Security. Mm-hmm. You know, our navy does not even have a boat yeah. to go into our. They're waters. paying people. They to are currently them. being put on an NGO boat to go and arrest people in our waters. Yeah. Now, let me tell you, if navy makes, say, for example, ten arrests mm-hmm. of illegal fishing trawlers, mm-hmm. if, even they are consultative million, consultative committee, weak almost. as it is. Yeah. They are hundred. They are co- consultative committee weak as it is. They charge them sometimes five million dollars. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you charge one one vessel for five million dollars, mm-hmm. do you know how many million is? Yeah, fifty million. Mm. Yeah. Now, maybe not only are the people are illegally fishing in our waters. There was a study that was done. That so I I think I forgot the story we, when I was doing the Dr. Banja story. We, we were doing a research and we came across mm-hmm. this story, and it says that. The, the the countries on the coastline, mm-hmm. Guinea-Bissau, the Gambia, Mauritania, and Senegal, jointly lose about 2.4 billion United States dollars yes. in their waters to illegal fishing yeah. every year. Yeah. 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 And if what about now, legal you fishing? Have, you what have your legal fi- fishing that is being done now, you, by the European Union and Senegal. No, but let me tell you. Now, I mean, if you tell more. them that they tell you no, ah, you know we don't have capacity, we don't have uh, uh, money to buy boats. No, no silly. No. They have an arrangement with European Union, yeah. and European Union is giving them half a million do- euros yeah. for for, every, yeah. for tons of for tons, tons three thousand and something tons. tons for, now, yeah, yeah. This because is they because they are corrupt mm. and they want illegal fishing to continue and people to pillage our resources, mm. they didn't tell European Union, no, we don't want money. Mm-hmm. We need you to consult your member countries. And give Let us them materials. help us with our navy with boats. Bo- yeah. Speed boats and trawlers, yes, so that we can be able, be able to protect our waters, waters. Mm. and he- be able to also no, give, the same, give some this, of those trawlers. It's no. the same European countries that are coming to no, illegally no, fish in our water. Keja, yeah, but agree so how, how do you think? Keja, no, but we can get the money from other places. No, but the like problem, from this bridge, the point is, like from this bridge, we can buy boats. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah. No, Keja, you, know, you, you see what I am trying. There. What I was trying to say yeah. is that. The Gambia it does not lack resources. No, no, no. Gambia no. does not like to does not need to uh, 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 to give its its Serakunda Highway, Banjul Highway, mm-hmm. to raise money to build another another road. highway. Because when, in fact, when you do that, mm-hmm. when they put a toll, whatever nonsense they call yeah, it, they, they should, charge they fr- uh, drivers. Drivers, yeah. drivers are going to increase their fares, yeah. and their fares are going to now hurt the people. Exactly. Yeah. These people always come are back into to nothing good. They've done it here. 1970s, they've done it here in the 80s. How yeah. silly would we be to go to them for 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 for, for, for some it's likely yeah, to that. Huh? Yeah. Right. And so I mean, <laughs> we we have to change topic here, yeah, yeah. Mustafa, and go to politics, right? Yeah. Oh, over the last three four months, um, you know, there have been a big political upheaval in in our sub region, very close to us in Senegal. President. Uh, Macky Sall announced that he's not going to run. Yeah. But of course, in the run-up to that, we have seen unrest, arrest, and even now, 1,000 people are arrested in Senegal. Mm-hmm. Opposition political party called PASTEF has dissolved. Its leader is still incarcerated. There is um, uncertainty rising over the elections coming in the next seven months in Senegal. Now, next to Senegal, uh, Mali, Guinea, uh Burkina Faso, Niger, and now Gabon mm-hmm. there have been military takeovers, all in the name of salvaging their country. It does seem definitely that uh, it is anti Western, particularly anti Frank France yeah. uh sentiment that is uh, uh seem to be driving the coup d'etat. But you've been a security expert and a former military and police. Um what do you make of this? you know, rapid, you know, spate of coup d'etats in our region? Um, I think it's very unfortunate and it is taking us backwards, um, you know, 20 years, 
30 years, 40 years. When coup d'etats were in well, fashion. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there, there, came, there, there came a time when people thought coup d'etats had gone now. Exactly. You know, the, um, Africa, uh, West Africa especially is, is democratizing now. Mm-hmm. So, there, you know, there will be no need for coup d'etats. But it looks like it's, it's, it's coming up again. And I think it's, it's, as you said, it's the anti-West, uh, anti-Western sentiments that they are using. Mm-hmm. They will use anything. Mm-hmm. You know, that's how, that's how the coup d'etat, the coup plotters will do. Mm-hmm. They will use anything. When Yaya Jame came, he used corruption. He didn't use anti-Western. Mm-hmm. Eventually, he learned that he could use that as well. Yeah, he became anti-Western. Yeah, I mean, but the thing is, I think, you know, we have to blame ourselves first, mm-hmm. but then also other people like Russia. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, Russia is the player that is fueling all this anti-Russia. And they are, they are so sophisticated in this now. So you mean the Cold War is back uh, in, in, in some sense of it. That is, in the, in the past, when governments that are hostile to this block will be overthrown, and then, or, and then for, the, for them to shift allegiance to the other, to the other block. That's and, what's happening. Yeah, but why is it just francophonie? It has not affected anglophones yet. Oh, most Anglophone African countries, West Africa, I mean, are so entrenched in democracy that they won't move. Yeah, I think that's that's one perspective. And the oh, is it the difference between the Francophone and the Commonwealth? Yeah, I think the Commonwealth has taken um, a, a more um, proactive role in, in making sure that democracy, uh, you know, is is ensured in these Anglophone countries. Or maybe the Anglophone, like the Britain, is not interfering too much. Or st- because it looks just like the French system, colonial system, seem to have remnant of colonial practice. Yeah, some people believe that in Fran- their relations. France invested so much in West Africa, mm. unlike in, you know the English. Yeah. You know they still think they have an interest in, in protecting. Look at the the the, the, the currency mm-hmm. is still CFA. Yeah. You know, and and so many other things. And France itself mm-hmm. has a problem of coup d'etats. Mm. You know, so it's a, it's, I think it's, it's has revolutions, but that's been a long time ago. Yeah, I mean, it's not very long ago. I mean, and, 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 and Fran- France is still, you know, um, engaged in so many other things. So they, 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 they push their policies too, too vigorously around. Mm. Look at when, when Adam Abaro uh, came over um, and, you know, the coalition government came. What did the French um, foreign minister do? He came here and he started saying that Gambia has so many... Um, rebels in Casamas, you know, and it has so many uh, weapons. I mean, how many, how many, how many rebels do we have in Casamas? None. Mm-hmm. If it is, if it is, if it is, if it is former soldiers, less than ten, mm-hmm. you know, or less than a handful. Mm-hmm. So, but he came and then he was trying to peddle that, mm-hmm. you know, so that we can still rely on Ecomog mm-hmm. and Ecomi and and Senegal, mm-hmm. you know, and then they can also come. I mean. Because of, I think you want what thing we have to look I, at. I, I understand at the beginning of the regime, the French government, yeah. maybe through Senegal, uh, was very much I agree in the forefront in helping the new government settle down. Yeah, they help us settle down. Yeah. But what they also do is they try to, to 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 push their agenda. Agenda. You know things like the the fishing, mm-hmm. you know agreement that we have mm-hmm. is is mainly um, benefiting France. Mm-hmm. You know also <laughs> you know they think that we we Senegal has has, has fine deposit of oil now, mm-hmm. and Gambia will also probably hopefully find we, we should have found it by now mm-hmm. some 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 oil. Mm-hmm. So all that will will they, you know they will be they, will, they are more interested in that. Mm-hmm. But the problem the main problem of these coup d'etats is ourselves. Mm-hmm. I mean okay. if you look at social media. Even comments by um, some politicians mm. is not helpful. Like they encourage curators. Exactly. You know, they try to give excuses mm. that that Niger, the um, the uh, the election was not fair. Mm. That was an opposition who won. Mm. So I mean, if it is not fair, who, why why don't you go to court? Mm. Even Gambia here, they try to push the same agenda to mm. say that the election wasn't fair. Mm. But they had opportunity to go to court. Mm. They had the opportunity to go to the revising courts. Mm. So if the soldiers, you know, hear that, mm. what would they say? Mm. If we take arms and overthrow the government, it will be popular. It will be popular, it's and true. that's what's happening in Niger, mm. you know, and, and all over the places. Mm. So we, as 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 as, as Africans, will have to do a lot of work. But shouldn't we be worried now that yeah. uh, curators, like you said, are returning into fashion? Shouldn't, exactly. Shouldn't we Africans, Africa, the whole entire Africa, be worried now that? Yeah. Especially when you said. A force is pushing them, and that's anti 
Western force like Russia. in Russia. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Russia has Wagner, and they use so much tactics now, cyber security tactics. You see some people on social media, you know, they have African names, mm. you know, pushing this agenda, you know, trying to, you know, they're not, they're not, they're not Africans, they're mm. Russians. Mm. We've seen it in UK. You know, they have, they, they, they do, they use cyber uh, social security. For, for propaganda. Yeah, for serious propaganda. Mm. You know, when I remember in London last time, when uh, when there was bombing, there, there someone was stabbing people on the on the bridge mm. uh, in London. Mm. You know what the Russians did was they tried to portray it as okay. The, 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 the man the, the man was was injured and he ran to 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 to, to, to some Muslims and they pushed him out. Mm. So you know it's like Muslim sentiment you were going to yeah, to, yeah. to raise there. And then the, one thing they didn't realize is is, is UK is, is so integrated. Mm. When those people went to hospital, they were med the medical doctors who attended to them were Muslims. Mm. So, you know, and, and the English followed this story. Mm. You know, where is this story come from? Okay. Coming from, and they found out that it's, it's from, from Russia. Russia. So it's the same thing in, in right now in, in Africa. You know, so and, 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 so, and some of our people are so revolutionary. Mm. You know, people who were with uh, what was the first revolution called? Um, call again here um, the, during the Jawara time. Kukoi. No, even before Kukoi. You mean uh, the Moja? Moja. The Moja G people are still there. They are still active. Mm. You know, those people, they will not see anything good about Western. <laughs> mm. You know, and they're still I think, active. You think, I think, KJ, I think you're going into conspiracy. <laughs> no, it's not conspiracy. It's reality. <laughs> no, no, no. No, it's a reality. Look, you see how people, they are proposing and they are supporting. And, and it's playing in the hands of people who benefit. Right. I, I, Everybody I benefits from, 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 from Kudetas. I, I don't from the way... Well, I don't subscribe to coup as yet. Yeah. And I think as Gambians, we should be the last. Exactly. Having our experience mm -hmm. on the Gambian, we should be the last to actually propagate for coup mm -hmm. And why I'm opposed to, in principle to coup d'etat is that, um, you see, the education of the... No malice here, because you have a military <laughs> training. <laughs> but, yeah. you see, the education of the military, mm -hmm. uh, you know, inescapably transforms them to be non-conformity with democratic principles yeah uh, i read this somewhere <laughs> the, the education of the military yeah makes them inevitably non-conformity with democratic principles okay. because the education of the military is passive obedience they have to obey and belong to one set of commands anything against that command should be neutralized yeah. such a person cannot come into the democratic government because where you have to argue consult disagree wait up, seek approval. The military, ha that's not their education. Yeah. So that's why they should have no business in coming into power. Yeah. Yeah. They should be under an authority that is constituted by the people so that they act in unison. They, you know, they are the most organized national institution. Yeah. So they should act in the interest of the nation. However, I also example. In our civilian setup now, in our democratic setup now, we can we have been discussing here. We are discussing how our assets should not be nationalized, how the president or the minister has failed to do this, how the minister allegedly, uh, I mean, failed to protect uh, himself from uh, uh, conflict of interest. On the Jammeh, who, who dare even ask Jammeh, why do you establish canine life, family farming? You, yeah. you, you uh, amassing state materials and, and making it a canny life family farm. Yeah. Who they are telling them? Exactly. Yeah. Because we are on a military dictatorship. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is when they fall out, mm -hmm. if civilians fall out, for example, the UDP, where well, well, we are supposedly seen to be the, the government in the very early days of the coalition government, when they fell out, Barrow went his way, mm -hmm. Dabo went his way. If this was military, they were going to settle their scores. The barrel of the gun. <laughs> it happened in '94 yes. when Basiru Barrow was seen to be uh, not, not, you know, not in agreement with, with Savali and others. What happened? Mm -hmm. They fought each other and they killed a lot of people. Yeah. So that's how military settled their difference. <laughs> it's happening in her too. The military had a problem and they, they fought among themselves, killing whole communities. Mm -hmm. If that was a democratic state, I mean, they wouldn't have come to that. Absolutely, absolutely. So that's all these reasons I don't want. A military regime. Absolutely, absolutely. So this this is my rationale, you know. When it but then, of course, I have seen military regimes that have been very progressive. I read them in history. Yeah, yeah. Very progressive. Yeah, and at the end, they brought about a very durable democracies. Uh -huh. That's true. But that's very rare. Chan, European Union. There are countries that have been trying to join the European Union for years now. I don't need to name names. 
Mm-hmm. Of course. And uh, each time they come, mm-hmm. they look at their secondary educators and they tell them you haven't you, you can't do it. Because you haven't met criteria one, two, yeah. or three. <laughs> Except Gambia. <laughs> because peace is intrinsically linked to good governance. Mm. The child the, the child who is the child who is sleeping in a house mm. doesn't have food to eat. Mm. It's hungry. Hunger is the greatest form form of violence. Mm-hmm. That child is in no peace. Yes. Now you have people who steal public resources and they go and do whatever they please with it. Those persons are, are encouraged, those persons are engaging in violence and the greatest form of it. Mm-hmm. So there is no peace in ECOWAS, in no ECOWAS country. Mm-hmm. Now the truth is that if you want Africa or ECOWAS to have durable peace and this thing they call democracy, mm-hmm. whatever it is, mm-hmm. they need to ensure there is justice. That justice has to be equitable distribution of public resources, stamping out corruption, and where corruption is is shown in the open, dealing with it mm. efficiently and effectively. Punishing it. You see what I mean? Mm. We have to build a system that works. This thing we call even tribalism. What is it other than corruption? Absolutely. Because how do you how do you this thing you know faster and no faster? Like, what kind of a tribe can you have in a government? Mm-hmm. How do you bring a tribe in a government? <coughs> Corruption. It's yeah. elites, African lazy elites are the ones who have come together, mm-hmm. build a system to steal from the poor people. And one of them will betray them, or some angry military just come and betray them and go and take up arms and take over. And he also enjoy. And so repeat, this is two repeat. people mm-hmm. killing each other yeah. for themselves. So the military is no better than the politicians they overthrow. Yeah. And the politicians they overthrow are no better than the military. They are the same. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's why I, me, I, 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 am, I am neither against school, I am not supporting it, but I am neither against it. Because <laughs> the systems they topple are not in themselves democratic systems. Yeah, but, but Democracy mm. is a system of government mm. that is defined as people, the government of the people, for the people and by the people. Where indescribable and indiscriminate pilfering of public resources occurs and nobody lifts a finger to stop it, that is not a democracy. Mm-hmm. That is not, call it what you will, no. but that is not a government I mean, for the people because a government has to exist for the people. people. But there's no, there's now, no. You don't need, for us to have, for us to sound legitimate when we are saying we need peace. What is peace? And who's peace? <laughs> who's peace anyway? Because the child whose money has been stolen from him and who, whose resources is being used by some elite to fund his child's education in UK, that child is living in his father's house of hungry. That child is not enduring any peace. So peace, peace, who's peace? And what peace are you talking about? You see what I mean? So so we need to, we need to stop, uh, uh, you know, you know, like agreeing with these politicians and all these, you know, people in government that, you know, uh, yeah, we, you know, we need a government, we need to have a, a, a coup is bad, yes, coup is bad, yes. But they are not overthrowing any government that cares about the people. Mm-hmm. They are overthrowing traitors mm-hmm. and traitors overthrowing traitors is none of our business. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, I think it's two people, the two enemies the of the yeah, republic yeah. fighting. They can kill each other. No, no, but I think there's, there's everything is relative, as you said. As Mr. Cham said, you know, we had Jawara government, everything was peaceful. You know, we, there was so much poverty, there, there we could say there was so much inefficiency, there was so much uh, corruption, but then they were not killing us. When Yaya came, And who says that? Jawara, no, I mean, Jawara not, and his people us, were sending people us. to okay. beat people in their houses. Yeah, yeah, but it is... They were maybe, beating people, they were well, born in their compounds. Yeah, but it's still better than Yaya Jame's time. Well, it depends on who you talk to. Yeah, was, I mean, I mean, and, and Baro came. It was came. not state systematically state sanctioned violence. He yeah, did. Breakers. There were no junglers. 
Yeah. They were no, not no, jobless no. I mean, I mean, But human rights violation was happening. Yeah, but look at this. You may say Jawara was not important. I think we related to one thing. I mean, much of the human rights abuses that happened on the Jawara came in the aftermath of the um, July 38th uh, uh, attempted coup d'etat. Yeah, you I mean, mean 81? Yes, 1980, yeah, yeah. July 30th, 1981 coup d'etat. That was the time most cases of human rights abuse yeah, yeah, happened yeah. On, when the Senegalese mm-hmm. came mm-hmm. and they were not differentiating between rebels and good people. Mm-hmm. They rounded up people, who, you know, some people got innocently rounded up and beaten, you know, stuff like that. And or or was, even murdered. Yeah, but that was but not even systematic torture. No, that was yeah. one event. But to make it a state sanctioned policy. Yeah. But there was political only violence. Came, only came on the There was political violence. Yeah, there was. Yeah. Yeah. PPP yeah. people yeah. were yeah. beating yeah. people, putting them in in trucks and beating them. Well, it's the, public that, records. That's that's possible because no, it's not possible, it happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so so even Barrow, you can see the difference. We are sitting down here talking about his ministers, you know, even about him we can Yeah, yeah, we can you do know, that. when we are Yamas time, we dare not do that. Yeah. So that's a big difference. And when you talk about tribalism using people's tribe, what the military does is, you know, it's it's not different from any civilian government. Yeah, I, I but that's what I'm saying. You yeah. know, I mean it could be if, if without the coup d'etat, it could be a revolution. Mm. You know, whereby, you the know, uh, yeah, I mean, the people, somewhere like uh, Charles Taylor, and they were, they were not military, mm. you know, so they started war from, so there are so many ways government change. Yeah. And, and you know, the best thing, there is not, there's no perfect system, mm. but the best we have is democracy. And what is a to, democracy? That's the best system <laughs> of government we have. That is to argue so and go to the democracy? Yeah, and go to the polls. And, and, and make sure and that go is to not the court a, and, that's elections. And, and, and rig the elections. No, that's democracy. No, no, no. And, and that rig, is elections. And rig the elections. That is the court. That is charm. Charm. And, 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 and charm. we defeated dictatorship yeah. by not by using violence. Yeah. You know, we advocated. No, we used both. No, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. Uh, no. People no, we came here December 38th and they took Jame. But they didn't Jame. succeed. You think it was an election that took Jame out? Of course it was. No, it election. wasn't. No, it was, was, no, no, it, it was, was it. It was a threat if of soldiers, conflict, If yes. soldiers mm. did not take upon themselves to to burn the votes APRC had accumulated in their bureau, yeah, Jame would, would have won. No, but those, those, that's all part of the, 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 the yeah. voting. They process. went and captured someone and tied him to the ground. That's violence. No, that's not violence. That is, <laughs> that is doing their job. <laughs> it's different. That is what Political I am saying. Violence. No, 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 no. no, no. no look, look, you see, I, I think we, I think also we okay. are, we are convoluting the argument. What I am trying to say, Cham, yeah. is that if Africa wants peace, mm-hmm. true peace, yeah. and genuine systems, African elites are the enemies within. Mm-hmm. There is no CIA operating some group somewhere, and or Russia, or it's not the case. Go and go into African countries and look at the corrupt people, the people who are wrecking public corporations, uh, people who are but stealing country, from the that's people. Almost everybody. No, no, wait. People yeah, who are no. It, yeah, yeah, we yeah. do that. We do that to make everybody look bad. But that's not the case. It's not everybody. Government has about forty thousand employees, so everybody is not stealing. Yeah, but but like, look at the PMO thing. How many people are benefiting from it? And yeah, how, but it's not everybody. To, who, who is going to say no? I don't want it. You see, what I am trying to say, Kenya, yeah. for us to save every, for us to save each person, we have to save every person. Right. Yeah, that is how a republic survives. Mm-hmm. Now, if you are going to say, oh, we need peace, we need peace. Peace has to. I need to have peace, so that you have peace, so that he has peace, mm-hmm. so that the president has peace. Mm-hmm. If I don't have peace, he will not have. And you will not have. And peace. the way we do now, this that is, is how the republic survives. Yeah. And the way now, we... if you if you come to here, mm-hmm. like I have me, I people call us. Mm. Someone will call you because somebody maybe you know the doctor sees his operate puts his wife on an operating table without him signing a consent form and says and the child and the and the wife dies nice. or someone will call you or say for example these people whose children are raped mm. and no one is lifting a finger to stop it yeah. and a pedophile is in their community if they take the law into their own hands and go and kill the pedophile ah. they come and say oh they committed a murder yeah they did but who who encouraged the committing of that murder? Yeah, the fertile ground. No, no but we, we no, have and dialogue. also we look, have at, dialogue, look at the Faraba. Look at the Faraba. No, 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 no. Wait, yeah, yeah. We have to be. We uh-huh, have okay. to. We have to be honest <laughs> with ourselves in this. Yeah. Look at the Faraba incident. Yeah. The Faraba people, they took every means. They went to see the IGP. 
they went to see the the interior minister they said they met had the meetings with the alcalo they had they went all through all frustrations mm-hmm. and in the end what did they do they went and put paramilitary forces there mm-hmm. it is it's, it's not a provocation, not a provocation. Yeah. and and the violence happened and people died mm-hmm. No, I mean, so well, let's let's be patient so, and have fun. Even yeah, in but what I am, yeah, 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 we have a big wall. Tough, put a big wall there. Mm-hmm. We wrote to the National Human Rights Commission. Mm-hmm. We wrote, we wrote to the police. We wrote to that it's illegal. Mm-hmm. But they are dragging their foot. What do we do? We have to be patient. Yeah. yeah so I mean, the, the enemy from the, the enemy against African systems are African elites, and yeah. they 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 can you know and well, we and can sadly and, and, it. and sadly they are all, also the only people who survive. Ah, because the, yeah, they yeah, yeah, work yes, with yeah. L system. Yeah. If military comes, they shut up their tails between their yeah. legs. They go and work with them. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the they no, they come and vote them. Continue vote, their asset recycling. And 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 the they, will, they will go with any. Violence is not the answer. Good. We uh, all have to agree on. What about Senegal? We 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 which like what is the situation um, according to you in, in the Senegal city? What is the solution? I think the solution is to have for opposition leaders. As well as politicians who are law, law abiding, you know we have seen that uh, Macky Sall said he's not going to stand, mm-hmm. and and you know and you know I I I, I have always said I've always said that he wouldn't stand, mm-hmm. you know because of the kind of person uh, you know I think he is, mm-hmm. you know and he hasn't he hasn't disappointed. So our politicians we have to sometimes look at them the opposition leaders, you know the words they utter. For instance, this could time most of them are saying oh because of you know, ECOWA should clean up their house like Mama Kande. Mm-hmm. ECOWA should clean up their house instead of, you know, talking to the politicians. Those kind of things. It's not helpful. Yeah, what, he, what he meant, perhaps, is that the situation in Senegal, for example, yeah, a whole a whole opposition party has been dissolved. Because which, the which, opposition party has proven uh, to be violent. And, 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 and Look at what happened, to, what, what happened to Susman Sonko. Yeah. This woman came, he was taking pictures hmm. of, of, just like an investigative journalist. Well, he did not identify himself when he was asked. No, does it Keja, matter? You know, Keja, you know, a public figure. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. Let, me, let me just no. laugh, if, as they I say. Mean, let me I mean, just finish. They also have well, their privacy. My point. They all have their privacy. No, as a public figure, you don't have your privacy. No, I know that it is. Yeah. But if you are asked to identify yours, I could, if, if I take pictures, for my job yeah. in Banjul or yeah. in a crowd, and anybody ask me, what are you doing this? Hmm? I would say, I am a journalist, hmm. and you are at a public place. I am doing a story, so I think I have a right to take pictures of people who are at a public place. Yeah. But if I refuse to say who I am... Yeah, they don't have any am, right to say no, anything. I, I, no. They don't have any... It's not against the law to take public figures, well, 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 uh, you know, pictures. But, but you know what, that is just... This, that is just the end... Oh, and what no, will the picture no, do to no, you? Listen, that's, so, that is the so end. The, the politicians should be mature no, that's, that's and kneel that you shouldn't follow the small... Don't you think there was a systematic policy to, to prevent him from contesting? Because they knew his yeah. temperament. It's like, I mean, but no, it's like but some it's of not for the Senegalese people to judge and not and not and not his advisor. No, no. I mean, if 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 I know that you get angry very easily ah. and you don't have state manly uh, attitude, so I should stop you. You, I can provoke you, and you are going to react. <laughs> no, no. But is that what should be the job of a president or, or, or I mean a government? No, I mean provoke? the government will say the, 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 just like you said, Jawara. The, the, um, apply, I mean, uh, Maki will say I'm not aware of it. <laughs> it's my security apparatus um, because the security suspect that this man could be a threat to national security. No, it's so Maki. It is it not Maki who suspect that this man would be a big adversary who would uh, vote uh, him Maki out? Maki is the head of the executive, mm. but it doesn't mean that he owns. You know, he, he runs everything in Senegal. Mm. You know, I but believe I believe that the security think that. You know, this man is 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 a communist. He's a socialist. He's going to bring and so much discord. Socialism is bad. <laughs> so, 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 so socialism so, is not bad. So, but so, it, it so, might, so, it so might so affect what Macky Sall. What Macky well, So whose interest would it affect? Exactly. When he becomes president. Socialism. Who's in? No, no, no. Let's See, go. I let's know you are a socialist. No, no, no. no, no, no I'm <laughs> saying. No, let's limit it to Sonko. You yeah, said, yeah. Let me do Sonko. You said they saw him as. Uh, Anti, anti-Western. Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, he's rhetoric. agent provocator. He's, uh, he provokes. He should, they, they can, you know, he, he he provokes France. If he provokes France, and he um he, if if he comes and, to the and power he, and he was very direct when it comes to his criticisms of government corruption. Yeah, he doesn't. He never makes his words. And that, that's why people support him. You that's see, what I like him about Kenya. it. So, but so the now, problem is, he Kenya. has to have discipline himself. Kenya. But it has to be a state. But don't you think Kenya. the state was actually Kenya. targeting him? <laughs> You know, for elimination from election at all costs. There was yes. a rape case that yes. was that was proven found to be, false. to be sham. 
Um, so they're not 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 they So this thing and you what, have to where did they overstep they demonstrated yeah and he locked them up yeah so, and, so and, they could have prevented that so in this case also if someone is taking your picture how could ignore you, him no or okay, her okay, in this case mm. ignore her what would have what would have, what would have that done to okay, you but he was from, he was he was always I, I, I going to he was always, naked or yeah. he was in with 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 i with, uh, with that it, girl the end of the chapter the begin, it started with it, violence against himself i mean Uh, targeting him for arrest targeting him for well, because he for does, charges, he does he does he does, he does he does he does he does um uh, overstep the boundary you know he has to be a state man and understand that these people are trying to provoke me so control yourself for what instance is, in that picture he could he could, he could have let it go what will what happen is, what nothing is, what is overstepping you know? the boundary no i mean taking someone's picture the thing from him that, that is that's illegal Kejau. you don't expect Kejau, that from before president. you get if someone comes point. becomes a president Kejau. you know what he's going to do Kejau. he's going to be worse than this no. man because that's no. what he's saying we he's don't know that. Yeah, before so we get to that you are now going into uh, even more real sign <laughs> 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 uh, okay well more real to do because you are telling us the future what we are no 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 i mean i mean shouldn't this be the galaxy people who should decide what type of leader they want of course this is and not, and not much decide. for them no but but you have to as a leader you know you cannot you have to be law abiding mm. those are those are rules in any country to be elect to be uh, to be eligible for 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 um for what's it called again for to to to, to stand what is law by what is being law abiding you don't have to have a conviction for instance if okay. for for a crime it depends on the country for instance in our country well, you and that is what that you, want, you want to look, make sure he has a conviction you so make sure you don't have it but that's what they do they want to make sure he has a conviction they have how many the times you, you the talk about rape you said that was false violence. no you, you think you think you talk you, about rape you say that was false corrupting the use So many I, I didn't say rape was false. What do I think say? I think what was they they they, they proved they proved that he could they, they they couldn't prove that he had raped the girl. So there was always So that means the judiciary to, to get is independent. No, it's pr- it's proven that the judiciary is independent. No, no, it's not independent. And then the formation came. They just they it would have been outrageous because there was no evidence. No. So they went they they try all that they can to make sure they just get, get him out anyway. Out of the way. No, no, but they, they didn't get him out from for that. What you mean? Why they succeeded in one because thing? Because he he was provoked and nah, he I mean, he took nah. up he he bet him. But he, why he would they provoke him? He was provoked. He was provoked by one man, one woman. That's right. So it's, if government Kejau, would say Kejau, Kejau, we are provoked, Kejau. so he de- deliberately went on provoking somebody. But even even Kejau, you can't hmm. discount the facts. And most serious thinking people believe this. Yeah. <laughs> Sonko may have his imperfections. Everybody, a lot of it. But there has been a systematic policy to. Get to him stop him out from of the race. Yeah. Well, yeah. He, should, to everybody. he should know better. That is politics. So, but you, think, you to... think? You think? If, if that is not politics. No, no, if you think that's not politics, that's not politics. 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 That's why no, Dabo, for that instance, is, is very careful. That is not no, decent. No, as as is a leader, politics. you have to be careful. Oh, you have to be state man. No, no, no. A government that, that is for the people should allow people to decide who becomes their leader. That that same way, yeah, not, I agree. You But in the not, same way, as a politician, not people, as an opposition, you, not you have to make sure that you are you act state manly. But you should you obey the law. No, but the government or the party in power or the president should not target you state institutions. To target his adversaries, as I agree. so as to eliminate them from the race. I agree. That's where the problem is. I agree. But the other, the other problem also is if they are targeting you, you know, make sure that you are you are clean, you are law-abiding. You cannot fight when the state machineries have been. Of course, you can fight you. it. You, well, you, you, think, you, think, you think you think you think you think you think is happy that me I'm UDP, for instance? <laughs> well, no, if he can elim- eliminate me, he will. No, if I he find out that I'm doing something illegal, he will. No. But the thing I is, you think, I, I, I don't think you're being whatever UDP. he does. No, no I, I don't just give you me and I send example. No, no, me, I'm a small fish, but no, someone I, like Dabo, for instance. No, but but if he can get rid of Dabo, even that, he will. See, that's where the mistake is. I think Alamabaro should even be proud. 
that there are people. There's a strong opposition. No, yeah. there are people in the opposition mm -hmm. who will disagree with him, mm -hmm. condemn him, mm -hmm. criticize him. You see, the more criticized you are, the more respected you are in the democracy. We agree on that. I mean, you know, no, we listen. agree that the, the leader should but, be magnanimous. But, but then, but to say that magnanimous for what? No, listen. No, but as, as the leader, you have no, 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 no. But then, uh, uh, leader <laughs> just has. But also, leaders, but leader leader also has, the opposition leader. No, has to make sure that they obey the law. I mean, See, some of the things that our opposition leaders do, no, some of the things they say, no, even, in, even in Europe, you cannot say those kind of things. You, see, you, see you the cannot government. do those kind you of things. The bus stops at the government. As well as, no, it's, now, it's, if it's, government, it's, it's, it's if on it, everybody. You know, the government should not be vindictive. Yeah, absolutely. The government should not be vindictive. Uh -huh. And once you are elected, I've always told people, you see, when you go into election and you succeeded in being elected, you have now a bigger responsibility than the one that has lost the elections. Because that man is only interested in him and his party. Whereas you who got in, succeeded in, you know, be in, in winning the elections, you are now working for your country. I think that's where the problem lies. So, they should I, I, both be interested in, for the country. St just, because, just because UDP but, lost but government doesn't mean that I cannot go to the, to the schools and help them with computers and but, with IT education, for get, instance. But the person who takes the mantle yeah. is the one who should show statements. And that's where the no, problem. they should both show statements. I know it's the one who should. A, say a statement is someone you know who is looking for to so, be. A so you have no. Problem. Why, how, how so you have no problem with the persecution of 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 Sonko and his party. I have a problem with it, but I also have a problem with Sonko allowing them to persecute him. <laughs> well, I can't or prosecute him in this sense. Him no, prosecute him he for keeping his In fact, in his... fact, the whole problem started. You see, the issue you are talking about magnanimity, a leader has no business in, you know, magnanimous, this, that, that. These are all tendencies of uh, bad governance. The point is a leader is a leadership. Presidency is, a, is defined leader. by law. Yeah. yeah. And it, you have what you can and should do. And you have what do. you can't and shouldn't do. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's law. Yeah. Opposition, everybody, every citizen's behavior. An attitude in a democratic society is defined by law. law. Thank so you. there is no point being Thank magnanimous, so being Sonko, this or being that. that. Just do your, do your job. illegal. Do your job. What Sonko did was illegal. Do you know that? No, no. Wait, wait. We'll no, get to that. that. No, uh, moro. I'm on Kumasi No, 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 no. But then you are saying about. that what Sonko did, the last part was illegal. Do you agree? No, Among but, Kumar's no, no, do you, what do you that. mean? What he did in the last part? Taking someone, snatching someone's phone from him, from from her. And, and refusing to give up is illegal. You, 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 when, when the, that, that was when he was that in the house. That's almost at the end of the film. That's why. That's why they. That's that why the they. You, that is. That is at the end of that the film. That is where when they got him. All these things they were trying, but they couldn't. <laughs> Retract this b b behind okay. to now. The let's 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 wrap up now. Um, what do you think his his uh, announcement that he's not going to run Maki Sal? Yeah. Uh, what do you think it will have in terms of impact on Ecowas countries, such as ours? I mean, it is great. I mean, it's great news. And I, I've already said that Maki Sala will run, not run. Maki is a Democrat. Maki is one of the people who came to free us from Yaya Jame here. And we are, we are, no, we Maki are, we 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 we went to Nigeria and said, "Hey, you know, we you can't do that. Let's go and, and, and rescue our brothers. Mm. You know, and, and 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 you know, the thing is, that has sent a signal to Equas mm. that Senegal is still a beacon of democracy in this region. Mm. I mean, it was great. It's great news. Even Adam Abaro had to go and congratulate him and say that's a great thing. Mm. So, but it reflects on the people themselves. What about Adam Abaro? You know, is he going to run in the third three terms? Mm. If Maki Sala said you're not going to run and you're congratulating him, why are you running? You know, and, and so so if, if everybody does that, good details will go away. The country will be secured. You know, we've seen how prosperous Senegal is becoming. Until this positive disturbance, they start burning people's homes, you know, people's businesses. That is going to bring Senegal back. But before then, Senegal is a beacon of hope, beacon of democracy. Mm -hmm. You know, if only I can speak fluent French, mm -hmm. I probably would relocate there. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, because you know, it's, it's the same country. If, as, if if I if if I if I am president today, what I will push for is Gambia and Senegal will become one, one country, one country, because we that's are one. Right. Is that what? That's, that's even what, if it's going to be, uh, that's what uh, everybody dislikes. 
I mean, Most Gambians dislike. They are the same people. Yeah, nice if you go to was, Nyamina, mm. you go and cross the border, you will not realize you are in Senegal. Yeah. Because it's the same people across the border. And it's, it's, it's not everywhere. the same but if you, you go to Dakar. Even in Dakar, it's different. Even in Dakar, it's the same. Everywhere is the same. Mali is the same. Guinea Bissau is the same. Guinea Conakry is the same. But Gambia, we have I think the idea of Senegal and Gambia be the same. Talking about African Union, we want to be strong. Like the EU, is. No, even the idea of Senegal and Gambia be the same. Is the same with the whole region? Is the same with the whole region? No, but that does not erode the national identity. 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 Without any, you want to tell me? You want to tell me? It's not the same way you do it. I can drive. I can drive from Germany to 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 Norway. No, I'm saying you without 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 anybody stopping me. But here you can. Okay, no, you will. So 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 to come to my point, I think you know that was a great thing, and 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 it should send. I think that's what Ecowas should be doing. They should try to put pressure on everybody so that you can have three times, because that's what two times. But that's what people because that's what people are using to um to make sure that. But it's just an excuse. We have seen in Europe places like Mac, um, 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 uh, Merkel. Mm. You know, he served. She, she served about four times. Yeah, and there was no violence. There was nothing. Mm -hmm. You know, we see Niger. Niger, we just came in two years, mm -hmm. not even one term, and he was overthrown. Yeah. So you know, it's just an excuse. You know, no. even if if Macky said he's going to serve three three terms, Senegalese will come out and vote him out because they are mature. Mm -hmm. We need our demo, our politics to be mature, and we need our our peoples to be awakened. And anyhow, we can do that. We should try. Good, yeah. Kenyo. Yeah, thank you. Ture, <laughs> a former military and police, uh, and also a legal consultant. Now, what do you do now, Mos? Uh, IT, IT, uh, IT. Yeah, I, I try to as 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 a philanthropist, I try to take uh, information technology to schools by collaborating with people, um, taking computers. Especially for the Arabic students, because mm -hmm. if you take it to a school and you tell the student, the school, the school that sometimes, so most of the schools have computers, mm -hmm. so it's just a matter of repairing it, mm -hmm. you know, and, and 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 putting some parts in that are missing, and you know, and 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 asking them to allow Arabic students to come in because the Arabic students will graduate, mm -hmm. they wouldn't have any job, mm -hmm. you know, and so that's a big challenge, and and you know, also I build systems for people, mm -hmm. I do a little bit consultancy here and there. Um, you know, well, you don't know much in terms of legal. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. I think legal was my when, when was the first thing I chose. Yeah. And then um, you know, and then uh, I think uh, I, 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 you know, I GTTI was at GTTI until I finished diploma, mm -hmm. but there was no law school here. Excellent. So you had to go, and then you know, I, you know, um, I think University of the Gambia came. There was no law there. So I had to go into IT, mm -hmm. and and now I've you know I've been in IT for over twenty years now. Okay. So yeah, I think that's uh, that's, that's my discussion. Do you miss your military or gendarmerie friends? How um, many of how many of them? You were in the first batch of the gendarme? Or no, no, no. I'm not that old. No. Ah, okay. <laughs> no, I think even Chongan, the was, Chongan was your boss. There was it. Yeah, time? yeah, definitely. I was in the gendarmerie um, after after teaching. At, I was the teacher at uh, Pakalinding Secondary, Pakalinding, and yeah. then went to. Alpha Khan, mm -hmm. and then I went to the Zanar Mori, went for course in Turkey. I came back. Zanar Mori was amalgamated. That yes. was the biggest mistake of Jam ja Jawara. Mm -hmm. You know, um, so and then Jawara Jambe was in the Zanar, not so. Yeah, he was in the Zanar Mori. Senior, you. Yeah, yeah, he's he's older than me. So okay. you know, so I went to the police. I was at the police headquarters, complaint mm -hmm. and discipline unit. Yeah. The coup d'état came. They yeah. moved me to the um, the army. I told military police, police there because yeah. it's the same complaint and discipline yeah, and military, yeah, police. Yeah, military police. Yeah, so I was there for years. Went to Ghana Military Academy, mm. came back. I became the military police commander. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, and then um, I, you know, I they, they were trying when, to model things. When did you fall out with Jabe? <laughs> no, they were trying to meddle things. I see. You know, so I I resigned from the military police. I, they took me to a training school. I was company commander Fajara Barracks. Mm. So when I I went to peacekeeping in uh, what is it called again in Istimo, Istimo yeah. I came back you know I knew Babuka Jara told me go to the army mm. go to the university you like education mm. you know you can go and the other people were like no no he can go part time and no it's from his boss mm. yeah yeah me that you know let get him out of the system, of the system. Okay. you know so I went to Uganda University I went for holidays and then uh, they declared me absent without leave mm. even though I have four years. Holidays, you know. So I mean, right now, if right now, I think 
they probably owe me a lot of money <laughs> if I take them to court, <laughs> you know, and I probably should, uh, you know, if, if it is if it is a correct country, I probably should be in, in the military still. But, but if I go now, my juniors are the commanders. Uh, the army commander is was was a cadet officer when I was a lieutenant. Oh, yeah? Yes. You, know, you mean the CDS? No, the army commander. The CDS Coast is a lot. Charm, huh? Uh, no, uh, no. this guy Gomez. Gomez, yeah. Mm, okay. So Cham and and and, uh, and Drame. Drame are a lot older people. Yeah. Um. So uh, yeah. I mean, they should be retiring now mm. and leave it to the to the others. Good. Um, but uh, yeah. So that's. Well, me. I have Kejo, the military man, in on, <laughs> on the la in the last five minutes. Yeah. Please don't forget to send stars uh, uh, to uh, care for our platform. Uh, wherever you are watching or stay, stars, things have come back. So please don't forget to give us stars as many as you can. Kejo Ture, thank, thank you. you very much for being on the broach. Thank you very um, much. Mustafa from Malagan, thank you very much too. We're looking forward to another of your exposes in the not too distant future. Thank you very much for being on the brunch. We will be back with the brunch next week, Saturday. Watch out for that. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chow. In a day and age where technology is creating a world without borders, filled with unlimited potential to improve the lives of the people around us. InnovaRex Global Health ushers in a new way of leveling the playing field with increased access to quality healthcare services delivered at your doorstep. Our qualified professionals are equipped with state-of-the-art point-of-care testing technology to conduct tests such as kidney function, liver function, electrolyte tests, body composition, hemoglobin, A1C, and many more services with the highest efficiency in delivering results. The addition to our flagship Wellness on Wheels, more fondly known as WOW Delivery Service, brings the entire clinical experience full circle. IGH has remained committed to creating the future of healthcare delivery. Gone are the days of sending loved ones outside the country for basic medical services. Innovarex Global Health offers a new peace of mind and takes pride in delivering the quality of care we all deserve. Islamic microfinance is becoming an increasingly popular mechanism for poverty alleviation, especially for developing countries around the world. This microfinance service adheres to the principles of Islam as a form of social responsibility. Yona Islamic Microfinance is the Islamic microfinance of choice in the Gambia, trustworthy and reliable. At Yona Islamic Microfinance, we provide savings products, current accounts, financing products in conformity with Islam. In addition, Yona Islamic Microfinance also offers local and international remittances, takaful fund, management of zakat, management of awqaf, trading and investment, and building of strategic partnerships to bring financial services to the doorstep of the poor with donor projects, madrasas, youth organizations, women groups, and farmer organizations. Make a choice with Yona Islamic Microfinance today. For more information on Yona Islamic Microfinance, call 377-2151 or 9832-151 or visit Yona Head Office at Tipa Garage, Bakote or visit any Yona branch located countrywide near you.